down dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And the core tight. And the elbows relatively close to the side of the body. This one's not easy. It took me a lot of a lot of practice to get this one. Remember to take those options if you need to. Just keep working. You've only got five seconds. Recover. Go ahead and relax. Flip it over. Leg lowers. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Here we go. Inhale down. Exhale. Little lift. Really think about imagining like you're Oh, that's pretty cute. He just put his head on me. Imagine like you are breathing into your lower abs, even though I know that's physically impossible. Inhale, exhale. Keep going. Just hold it. Just hold it here if you can't do any more reps. and recover. Nice job, guys. Get ready for those push-ups. Break dance push-up. Push-up. All right, here we go. Crossing one leg underneath the other. Flipping it over. Shoulders back and down. Inhale, exhale, cross, flip. Other side. Crossing again, shoulders away from the ears, flipping over the other hand, push up, almost there, get one more, and recover, going into our standing splits next. Ready? Nine, eight, seven, shoulders back and down. Lift up the hips. Three, two, one. Lift it up. Yeah. I don't care which leg you're doing, just keep that hip low. Go ahead, make the correction if you need to. Tap and lift. We've got 20 seconds left here. Really squeeze the glutes as hard as you can, pushing that hip a little bit closer to the floor. Get the hips high in the air. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax. Lift up the shoulder rolls. Shake it out. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Other side. It's up and back. And same thing. Other leg. Same thing. Other leg. Maybe if I could remember which side I had just done. Releasing that heel down to the mat. Pulling the belly button into the spine. Twenty seconds. Twenty. Make sure you have equal weight between both hands. Allowing your weight to push your shoulder blades down. Five, four, three, two, and recover. Go ahead and shake it out. Last one, coming onto the back. Getting ready. Inhale, exhale, squeeze, inhale, press, 
shoulders away from the ears. Chin is slightly tucked. Everything with intention. Think about this preparing you to do like a toes to bar exercise. Squeezing the lats down, pressing the palms into the legs. Take your time, it's not about speed. Keeping the lower and upper body tight. And recover, go ahead, rock side to side. Do a couple little circles here. You can go ahead and switch directions. All right, we're gonna do a finisher and then we're gonna go ahead and stretch. So for our finisher, we're gonna come down onto a prone position, into a prone position. And from here, tucking the chin to the chest, lifting up the upper body, glutes squeeze to press the low, that, or to press your hips into the mat. We're gonna lift up both arms, and then we're gonna squeeze them back, squeezing as hard as you can, and then do a little hand lift there. So we're going out, back, lift, and then back out. Trying to stay lifted off of the mat the entire time. We're gonna alternate that with a side to side push up. So coming up into a plank position, again, shoulders back and down so those shoulder blades don't move. And we're gonna start with the hands together. We're gonna step it out to the side, inhale, exhale, together. Out, inhale, exhale, together, and so forth. So you can do this for 10 and 10, or you can set your timer. So I'm gonna set the timer for 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest. So starting with our 20 seconds of work, we're gonna do each one four times. This is gonna take us four minutes. Go ahead, get ready. Coming down, two, four. So I'm gonna pose under. Hopefully you can extend your legs. Get ready, three, two, out, squeeze, lift. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Lifting those hands up, keeping the elbows tucked to the sides of the body. You can bring the thumbs to the ceiling. Go ahead and relax. Going into our push-up from the knees or from the toes. Five, four, three. Set the shoulder blades back and down. Inhale, exhale. Go as fast as you can. Again, trying not to move those shoulder blades. And the rocks back down. Back to the first one. Set those shoulder blades back and down. Six, five, four, three, two, here we go. Squeezing your back as hard as you can. So this is one where you could use a little bit of weight in the hands if you wanted to. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Go ahead and relax. Back to our push-ups. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, hands together, apart, down. Core is tight. Pelvis is tucked under, rib cage is tucked in. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, recover. We have two minutes left. That's it, that is all. Go ahead, come, come back down. Get ready for our little row here. Take it out, back, lift. So this is really about keeping the shoulders away from the ears. Five, four, three, two, recover. If you guys feel like you need a good stretch today, I'm also teaching yoga. Get ready for the push-up. Here we go. Hey. 
Because that hell was under, unlike me. Six, five, four. So on the way down in your push-up, your elbows should be slightly tucked here to help protect that shoulder joint. Okay. Push-ups. This is it. This is the end. Whatever you have left in the tank, now is the time. Three, two, shoulders back. Here we go. Abs are tight. Ten. and recover. So yeah, during those push-ups, just like in a bench press, you're tucking the elbow slightly on that way down. Um, that's gonna allow you to bring your chest closer to the ground. If your elbows are way out here, not only are you gonna be hurting your shoulders, but you're not gonna be able to bring that chest all the way down to the ground. So you'll notice when I go to do my push-ups before I do them, because I know I have a tendency to shrug up here, I engage those lats back, pull the shoulder blades back, tuck the pelvis under, and then and then come down into the push-up so that you're you're able to push off of a nice stable scapula. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed our workout today. I know that we had a little bit of problems at the beginning. I know that my workout partner stole my mat and my just a distraction over here in the corner, but hey, that's life, right?